Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, My child, whatever you are worrying and stressing about today, know that I have a plan and I am bigger than your troubles, your fears and your anxieties. Remember, I am even stronger than anything that tries to prevent you from progressing, my child. There is a blessing on the other side of the storm that you are passing through. Therefore, sit tight, for tomorrow always holds the hope of breakthrough that you have been waiting for. Therefore, press into today and press into me and drink from my living waters that is available for all those that are thirsty. Yes, for I will pour out my water upon all those that are thirsty. And I see your thirst is building up for my pure love. As you spend more time in my presence, your faith is being electrified to bring you into the realm of impossibilities. I will stir up your faith to believe in greater things. For miracles still happen, my child, and you must learn to trust me more to receive yours. Learn to trust my timing more, my child, which is always perfect. It is I who hold the clock of eternity, and you don't have to worry about your future in my presence, for I will even take care of your past. Yes, I will even redeem the time that has been wasted. Yes, I will even restore past mistakes and cause you to move forward from things that will not benefit your future. Time is in my hands, my child, and the fullness thereof. I see the enemy attacking you, and if it weren't a person of value, the enemy wouldn't be fighting you so hard since your birth. Remember, this reflects my call upon your life and also the threat that you are to the enemy. Yes, I know the warfare is strong within this hour because you're fighting for your destiny and your supernatural purpose. Remember, I am faithful and will carry you and be with you to the end. Know that I am with you. Know that I am for you. Therefore, stay focused. Show love to how you live. I will be with you to the very end. And know this day is also in my hands. Be at peace this day. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. The Bible says according to John chapter 14, verses 27 to 31. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you, not as this world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You have heard me say to you that I am going away and coming back to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice because I said I am going to the Father, for my Father is greater than I. And now I have told you before it comes, and when it comes to pass, you may believe. I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming, and he has nothing in me. But that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me commandment, so I do. Arise, let us go from here. Hallelujah. Jesus had nothing of the world inside of him. For the enemy to accuse or even a foothold to be able to have entry point to stop or limit or hinder Jesus' mission upon the earth. When we learn to fast and push into God, it removes every hold of the enemy. Every foothold is closed. Anything of this world starts to leave us because we start to refocus and get our priorities right in that hour. The Bible says, according to James 4 verse 4, anyone who chooses to be a friend of this world becomes an enemy of this God. See, we cannot get around this church of Jesus Christ. You are his saints, and we cannot be sitting on the fence within this issue. We cannot be 
one foot in his kingdom and one foot in the enemies. You cannot be one foot into sin and the other foot claiming to be holy. They are very comfortable, many people today, thinking that they can have the best of both worlds. They are enjoying the lusts of the flesh and will one day enjoy the pleasures of heaven also. So they think that is. However, the Bible makes it clear that we cannot be in sin and in Christ at the same time because according to James 4.4 4, makes this very obvious that it says anyone who chooses to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy of God. We can't be a friend of God when we have one foot in this sinful world and one foot in Christ like someone sitting on a fence. Let's be like Joshua who told the Israelites that they had a choice of serving the Lord or the gods of this world and the gods of their forefathers. He said, according to Joshua 24 verse 15, And as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Choose which side of the fence you wish to be on today and don't even sit on the fence. You can't be lukewarm. You're either going to be hot or cold. I choose to be hot for Jesus Christ. I choose to fast, to separate myself from the things of this world. If you find that your Christian walk has become worldly or that you have become compromised, let me tell you the best antidote is fasting and praying. Get your life right with Christ today. God has a plan and a purpose for your life, precious saints, if you will just press in to prayer and fasting. We, I encourage you to press in within this hour because God is about to release an anointing for those that really want to seek him and desire him more now than ever before. Hallelujah. The Lord has given me a word of knowledge for some people. There is someone that is suffering with the issue of gluten issue. That is a celiac disease to be precise. If that is you today, I want to pray for you right now. And you'll start to find that even your uh, gluten-free diet uh, will start to affect you a little bit. You'll, you'll realize, hey, hang on a minute, I don't have this problem anymore. I'm going to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, I speak to every area of this person right now. You will touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet right now. Lord, I pray for healing in that area. Lord, where I come against that disease within their life in the name of Jesus Christ. I also pray for those that are lactose intolerant. Lord, I pray for those people right now that are lactose intolerant. Lord, I declare today that those dairy products, that those things that they've been eating will no longer affect them in the name of Jesus Christ. You said that we could even eat poison. We could drink poison and those things will not affect us. I declare today that over their body, those issues of lactosis will no longer affect them in the name of Jesus Christ. And you will know this by your diet. Things won't affect you as much anymore. And then you'll gradually start to say, wow, oh, these things don't affect me anymore. I declare your healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I also speak to those people that have a colon issue or a rectum issue. Maybe some have constipation. Others may have an irritable bowel. But I pray today, someone may even have colon cancer. I come against that today in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare over that area of their colon, their rectum, their whole area there. Lord, I pray for healing over that area of the body in the name of Jesus Christ. For that person that has been constipated, Lord, I pray for a release in the name of Jesus Christ. A release in the name of Jesus Christ. A release in the name of Jesus Christ. For that person with the irritable bowel, Lord, I pray right now, Lord, that you'll bring healing right now from the top of their head to the soles of their feet feet right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Someone is praying for the fruitfulness of the womb. I declare today 
that as you press into this time of fasting, that God will open up your womb in this new season to come in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray you are the God that opens wombs. You are the God that closes wombs. Lord, I come against every generational curse that has been upon them that has been stopping them from giving birth in the name of Jesus Christ I come against miscarriages there is someone that's been having constant miscarriages I come against that that shall no longer happen in the name of Jesus Christ I declare your healing over them today in the name of Jesus Christ as you receive your healing as you receive your healing today in Jesus Christ mighty name. Let me pray for you, precious saints. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, even as I come before you this very day, Heavenly Father, as we lift up today all the saints that are in need of healing, that are in need of deliverance, that are in need of breakthrough, Heavenly Father, I pray in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ right now, Lord, the Bible says according to Luke 5, 31, Jesus did not come for the healthy or for the whole or for the pride those that are humble and those that are repentant heavenly father that you would come and touch each person today in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ lord you said in your word in luke eleven twenty. You said, but if I come to drive out devils with the finger of God, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. Heavenly Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, whatever their sickness is, whatever their issue is, whatever the doctor has said, whatever the torment that they have been going through in their dreams or any dream pollution, Heavenly Father, today enough is enough and you will come and touch them in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. According to 2 Corinthians 10, 5, we bring every thought into the captivity under the obedience of Christ. Heavenly Father, I pray right now, I come against all sicknesses. I come against all oppression that is coming against them, all instability. Lord, any schizophrenia, any double-mindedness, any depression, any type of sickness, any type of condition, that has been spoken over their life by the doctor today. I pray and I bind the spirit of infirmity. I bind that spirit right now of torment upon their life in the name of Jesus. I bind that spirit of addiction. I bind that spirit of infirmity that has been against them today in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. I bind you today. I bind you today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, that you would release your anointing now. You would release your anointing now upon them. I bind that devil right now with a threefold cord according to Ecclesiastes 4.12. I bind you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You will go back to the pit of hell right now. I command you in the name of Jesus Christ. You will leave them by the power of the Holy Spirit that is here right now through the anointing of the Holy Spirit, through the authority of our Lord Jesus Christ and through the blood of Jesus Christ for by his stripes you were healed. I pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ. So I speak that healing upon them. As you said, your, when your healing comes, your, your word goes forth and brings healing. I speak that upon them right now. Let the anointing, let the Holy Spirit come and send fire upon each person today. Send fire right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, may that healing come through the anointing of the Holy Spirit right now and touch them from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. No more doubtful mindfulness, no more double-mindedness, Lord, but that they may be full of the Holy Spirit today in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you. Touch your people. Touch your people. We thank you for what you're doing, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for what you are doing right now. Lord, that you would touch each person from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray and believe. Amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, 
Shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, we encourage you, subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also make sure that the notification bell is clicked. You can also follow us on Facebook or Instagram. Go to our free website, repentancerevival.com. Precious saints, if you have not already, we also encourage you to join one of our WhatsApp groups. We've got over 80 different countries that have started. Some are small, some are very large that we have to have multiple WhatsApp groups. So if you're not part of one of those, send us an email and we will send you the link for your particular nation. Just let us know what nation you're coming from. Precious Saints, we are trying to reach out to a lot more platforms within this hour, and especially with podcast platforms like Spotify and so forth, that we can reach souls within this hour. Somebody say hallelujah. We are currently doing the 14 days warfare midnight program it's a challenge for each person if you haven't heard about it you can join us right now we are seeing so many testimonies you need to repeat the prayers in a fiery manner believing each and every word that we can see breakthrough not only within your family not only within your life not only amongst ourselves but also within the nations that what God is about to do things are going to start to be exposed around us you're going to see in the next several weeks because we are praying that all wickedness will be brought out into the open somebody say hallelujah so press into that today is corporate friday fasting it is so vital you join in weekly and don't forget we've got the june three-day corporate fast which is coming against generational spirits we are going to the root cause of many generational curses we are dealing with the vagabond spirit we are dealing with the pisca spirit which is the almost there spirit and we're also going to be dealing with the setback spirit so i encourage you to press in all these teachings are free of charge to get you connected to stay connected to the lord to be revived as we are believing for repentance revival to come to the nations mark my words when it comes you will say that man was true it did come he kept on pushing despite of how things work so from my family to yours god bless you we love you we are praying for you precious saints shalom shalom shalom